Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about the choice box with JavaFX and Scene Builder, and I'll be working inside the IntelliJ IDE. So, first of all, I would suggest everyone getting a JavaFX running, and there'll be a link down in the description if you haven't got it running yet, as well as there will be a link how to actually connect um, Scene Builder with your program. So, I already connected my sample FXML document to scene builder where I'll be using a choice box. So a choice box is kind of like a box where you can pick between a few options. So what I will do, I will create a choice box, I'll give it some options, then I'll have a button. And when you click the button, I will just print the choice from the choice box inside the console log. So first of all, let's give the choice box an IDE. So what I will be doing, I will be giving the choice box choices between a few animals. So I'll call the choice box animals. And I will have a method call on button. On mouse click, there will be get animal. I will save. I will get sample controller skeleton. Copy it inside my controller. And I will import my mouse event. So with the choice box, you have to tell it what kind of object you will be able to choose between. And I will just do a string. And then I would like to add some kind of some choices to my choice box before the program running. So if you remember back a few episodes ago, I talked about implementing initializable, which allow us to have a method that will run right after the window have been loaded. So what I will do, I will do choice box to animals dot get items dot add all. And then I can just add some items and in this case strings. So I will do dog. Let's do a cat and a monkey. There we go. So now, if I just run the program, I have the button. Right now, it doesn't do anything, but I can actually choose between my animals. And as you can see, it will keep the choice. So what I do to actually access my choices is under my getAnimal method. I will call animals dot get selection model dot get selected item and I'll just save it in the string and I will just print the string to the console so now if we run the program again we are able to choose between the animals and if I choose dog for example dog would be printed to the console window and similarly with the cat or the monkey and just to showcase if nothing is picked it will print null so that's the basics of the choice box we implement the choice box choose what kind of objects it contains we add the objects inside our initialize method which we implement and then we just call them through animals, just get selection model, and then get selected item. And then in this case, we just print it to the screen. So that's the basics of the choice box. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.